Hello everybody, Hellkite Lord here, and I have now infinite resources. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what it does is the Igneous Extruder it provides me with cobblestone. Which then either enters here or enters here. Which it gets hammered and uh turns into gravel. That gravel gets sent to here and turns into sand. And that sand gets sent over here where it gets turned into dust. And that dust gets sifted here where it turns into various items that I need. Which you'll, if it's an item that I need, it will go in here. If it's, an, if it's an item I don't want, it goes in the track. So I'm not cluttering up my um, resource. It's, and uh, I moved the the magma crucible to down here, so I could use the. Let me show you. Because I turns out I don't have a something to pump lava into it. So what I did was put the magma crucible down there, since it's right next to the nut portal, which I can easily go in and get netherrack, put it in the magma crucible, which then turns it into lava, which then sends it into the uh, ender tank, which I then use here. Now I plan to put more ender tanks around for various other reasons. But for now, yeah, as you can see, I'm already profiting a lot. Just, and this is like just the stuff I've been getting. I gotta go through and empty this. <laughs> now, what I've also did, done, I should say, is I started magical crops. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck is this used for? Well, besides also vanilla crops. Uh oh. Oh my. Don't think I gotta repair that again. Anyway, what it will do, and I plan to alter the setup too, is it will, well first these farming stations will take seed, the seeds you put in and plant them as long as it has a hoe. And uh, it will then leave and it will automatically harvest. And depending on how you set it up, it will put it into the boxes. <coughs> now, there's a creeper in there. Hmm. I'll have to deal with that later. Now, to start up. Oh, in magical crops, you need uh, essence seed. Which you get by destroying grass. You then take the essence seeds and surround either a diamond or an emerald with them. And you will get a weak infusion stone. Which you then use to make weak essence. And there's, of course, multiple tiers. There's weak, regular, strong, and I think extreme. And that's the last one. And, uh... Right now, I can make up to strong essence. Now, what I'm trying to make... The next 
tier is Extreme Infusion Stone. Which I'm trying to get Ender Essence for because... The reason that's really good is because Ender Essence... ...can also be used to make Ender Pearls. And, uh, what? End Okay. That's different. You can also use it for Ender Essence infused items. And, uh, End Stone itself. So, that's the reason why I'm doing that. Now, what I'm doing is unfortunately just sitting here and watching grass grow. Exciting, isn't it? I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna make you sit through that. But... The Extreme Infusion Stone, if you use Diamond or Emerald Essence, you can get a Master, which is what I'm sitting out for. And the Master will, uh, allow you to make any Essence, backwards, forwards, yeah, that sort of thing. But, what I'm trying- Where are these zombie noises coming from? Anyway, as I was saying, you can use these stations to get various resources, which then can be used, well, however you see fit. Now, since I don't need to do, like, the gold, I might have to do the diamond one and emerald one. Not sure. But the one I want the most is, I think it's the wither. Yeah, to get wither essence, you've got to grow wither seeds, wither soul seeds, which are crafted with four wither skeleton skulls, four extreme essence, and just normal seeds. Which you can then use. To make weather skeleton skulls. Oh, you can use it to fr make bottles of enchanting too? Oh. Huh. Did not know that. But, anyways. But, as you may have noticed, you need four wither skeleton skulls. So what I'm going to do is to, gonna go down into the nether once again to find wither skeletons and hopefully get some skulls. I've already gotten two, so I literally just need two more. And as you can see, I've been building up my liquid experience. The reason this is so useful, this upgrade here is, besides the fact that you can get liquid experience, you can then take the liquid experience, and then, well, I'll show you. What I do with it is I put it into a tank. And then I can use it in the anvil, at the blacksmith anvil, 
or I can use it to enchant. And you know what? What's that other thing I wanted to do? I'll do this instead, and then I'll see how much time I have left. Yeah, I need to make crafters. Now, I should have a plenty of wood, and you know what? I'll grab some more redstone. No, wait, I got plenty of redstone up here. I think I need iron? Yep, iron. Gonna need some gold. Iron. And where's the bronze? Bronze, bronze, bronze. There it is. I need four crafters. No, I didn't need bronze, I needed copper. That's what I needed. Where's the copper? One, two, three, four. And what I'm going to be using these for... Is you can use these to craft various items. Okay, so I'm going to need four crafting tables. Where's the excess wood I had? Will that work? Nope. And I will need four machine casings. I could be reversing this. In fact, I'm pretty sure I am. So you know what? I'm just going to double check. Machine cases. Yes, I am reversing it. Really, I'm off, but you know what? I probably got one more iron. Yeah, I got plenty of ironing dots in there. And I believe these also need power. Yeah. <coughs> So you know what? I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I have not been doing everything. Um, in normal mode. I Yes, I have cheated in these redstone energy conduits. Mainly because I have no clue what to do with a fluid transponder and how it works. All right. So what you gotta do is you gotta put the recipe into the auto crafter. Okay. 
You know what? Yeah, that will save space. Yeah, for the most part. Now, what an auto crafter does. Don't need that. We'll, however, need these. And then I throw out, like, resources that I. No, I need for the items. Just easier for me. And what happens is it will auto craft as soon as it has the supplies for the item. As you can see here. Now you can set it. No, I want that to push up in here. Which will then make for me. It should not be making double. Oh yes, yes, it should be making double compressed. And uh, yeah. So with this infinite cobble resource, I figured I might as well. And this push the items into here which will then make triple compress which will then push it into here to give me um quadruple compressed which I will then have it pipe out yeah okay that's still working just need to make sure and you know what since I don't need I've been basically just doing the piping in creative that's it Which I will then have an extra chest. Don't think so. Okay, Enderman, where are you? Are you on the roof? That's probably where he is. Anyway. You know what? Whoops. Might as well make some gold chests I can't make diamond chests yet because I'm too damn lazy to go get the uh, glass <laughs> Get 
gold chest there. And we'll be able to build up more cobblestone faster for when I eventually double and I now should have enough here. And it'll slowly start making triple compressed. Which, after I'm set it have enough, I will set it into not there. Into here. Which will then make quadruple compressed, which will then send it into here. Whoops. I so wish I could speed this up. Smart glows. Plenty of glowstone, gunpowder, and redstone. So you know what? I'm gonna start telling it to trash gunpowder and gloves. Because the only reason I want it is for potions, and as you can see I have a ton of it. I think I'll still have it except redstone and blaze powder because redstone is used in a lot of recipes and blaze powder because it's a hard resource to come by sometimes. Yeah, I only wanted to pull. Why is it showing resources going back out? That makes no sense. Might be just a glitch. Oh, you know what this probably is? It's probably when uh, it sends too much and it goes back. Okay. Okay, you know what? How much more time do I have left? Uh, I got a little bit of time left for an adventuring into the nether. S showed you last video how I built this. We're gonna jump down here. Oh, wither skeleton already! Nope, they didn't get a skull. What just poisoned me?
Ooh, chest. Saddle, that can be in handy. A couple of flint and steels, and I keep forgetting to grab one before I enter here. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. My medic. Might as well grab the chest, too. Oh, dead end. There's another chest over there, but I think I'll grab this soul sand first. Oh, come on, we're all the wither skeletons. Oh, iron and gold. Some more gold, another war. Gold horse armor. Some more gold, an iron horse set, a chest plate. Flint and steel, more nether wart. The only thing I am not finding is wither skeletons. Where are they? Some more gold. Come on, skeletons, where are you? I think I just got lost.
now. I have no damn clue where I am now. At least it's easy finding my way back to the fortress. Oh, I got some nether coal. Another redstone. Can I come out somewhere, please? Sheesh. Oh, wait. Got this pouch. Just threw the horse armor in there for now.
Can't say I won't have enough saddles after this. Of course. Okay, everybody, I'm going to have to end the episode here while I'm stuck in the nether, trying to find my way back. Um, I'll probably pick up af shortly after this. So, Hellcat Lord si here signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video, and be posting again soon.